So this first video is going to be how to prepare that video file into a frame sequence so that then you can import it into Photoshop and start rotoscoping. Now what I have here is I'm in Premiere and I have all of my takes here. Um, you can see I've messed around with a few of them. I've done a couple of fun things. This is me waiting at a racetrack and getting super excited. Um, you know, this is me trying to be a vampire. Um, so I've messed around with all of these. I've kind of picked out my favorite ones. And now I'm going to pick out the one that I want to rotoscope. So we're only going to do one of those three takes. And you so say you want to pick your best one that has, you know, the best staging. Um, this is the one that I've picked. Um, as you can see, it's kind of good staging, nice silhouette here. You can really see the pose um, if I play it for you. There's a pretty obvious emotional shift, and um, it's just about five seconds long. So this is perfect. So what I've got here in Premiere is essentially the edited version, and I'm just going to export this as a frame sequence. Now, my sequence right now, um, if I pull up the sequence settings, you can see my sequence settings are 24 frames per second, 23, 9, 7, 6. Um, 1920 by 1080, and, you know, kind of the standard HD format. So that's what we're going to be working at, except that when we rotoscope, we're going to be working at 12 frames per second, so we're only going to trace every other frame. Um, this is going to save us a lot of time, obviously, only have to draw half the frames, uh, and it actually looks a little bit better when it's not at 24 frames per second, because you get a little bit less of that um, super smooth, almost too smooth, rotoscopy look. Um, makes it a little more artful. Um, okay, so double check that. Make sure you go in at uh, 24 frames per second in your sequence file here. Um, and then when we go to export, we're going to drop every other frame. Um, so this is how you do that. Go up here to export. We use media encoder. And in our um, format here, we're going to choose JPEG. And so this was just going to render out a JPEG image of every frame. So once we've got that, um, basically it will default to match source. So this is what you will see. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to go and we need to change the uh, export frame rate. So First of all, you can choose where you want your frames to go, right here in the output. Um, so I've created a folder called Rotoscope Frames, and I'm going to call this just waiting. Um, so that's going to name my files with a nice sequence number. Um, and then when I go down here to the basic settings, right now it's matching the source. You can see up here our, our sequence is 1920 by 1080, 2397, and then it's 1920. 1080, but we want this to be 12, because what that will do is it will render only every other frame. So to change that, just go down here to frame rate, uncheck this box, choose 12, and that's it. And that's all you need to do. Now I can hit export, and it's going to render out those frames. And if I have five seconds of animation, um, times 12 frames per second, I should have around 60 frames. I've got 66 because I have a couple extra in there. Um, but that is about right. So five seconds. So you shouldn't have more than like 60 or so frames to do. Um, if you're doing three seconds, obviously this is going to be a little bit less, but most of your clips were around five seconds. So, so that's step one. Once you've got that done, then I will next show you how to import this into Photoshop and to start your rotoscope by making some style frames.